Namaste, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I see the God in you. Sagittarius, how you been? I miss you guys so much. I'm so happy to be back. We're going to tap into this love reading and see what is the person on your mind thinking about you? What do they want to say to you right now? What are their intentions? Okay, so this is going to be a juicy reading for Sagittarius. The first question is, what does what do they want to say? Okay, the person on your mind. What do they want to say to you right now? I effed up. I don't know what to say to you or how to fix this. So, yeah. All right. Someone made a mistake here. And what did they do, Sagittarius? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let's see what else they want to say to you. This isn't over. You haven't heard the last of me. We have unfinished business. So I don't know if you told them that they could um, step to the left. I don't know what you said to this person, but they feel like whatever you have, whatever you have going on, it's not over. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a stalker that you haven't heard the last of me. That's kind of like, okay. <laughs> Hopefully, you want to hear what they have to say. If you want someone to come back, if you feel like you don't have closure on a situation, it might be your message. What do they want to say? You are different from the rest. They didn't mean anything to me. I only want you. So, I feel like this person might have some baggage from their previous connections or relationships or even childhood like patterns right and then we also have i was hiding my true feelings from you because i'm scared of commitment and i didn't want to lose my freedom so hmm, that's a lot that's a lot so it seems like maybe they are ready for commitment now maybe they are ready to like have something special with you if you can forgive them for something maybe that they might have done i'm kind of getting that vibe here because i fucked up and then you got you're different from the rest and then we have unfinished business so it seems like this person has a lot to say i'm gonna check in and see what's their current intentions towards you just current you know at least for the next six months okay transformation so I definitely feel like they want things to change be they want this relationship to blossom I'm noticing I'm seeing the butterflies here I'm seeing this person wanting some sort of change not just with you also in their life and I feel like they're wanting you to be in a way a part of their life because they're telling you this isn't over and i'm also getting for some of you that could be some energy that they've had to deal with someone else okay someone else has been like kind of hovering around this energy is what i'm getting so anyway they want a transformation with you let's see what else are their current intentions divine feminine okay this is the second time that this this card has come out so i think that was i don't know what zodiac sign that was but um this person still might be hiding something from you but they are gonna come in like they have it together so just be careful like especially if they're like i change or something like that you know what I mean um hmm that deception and lies that define this it's just like you know 
Um, for some of you, they might be like, oh, you know, I, something happened, you know, with the divine feminine. Like I had something, you know, something went on with somebody else. But just be careful because it's like you have to weigh things out and see like what's what's the truth. You know, what? Um, okay, we do have. Okay, we have queen bee and we have groom. So just make sure that if he's saying that he wants a commitment or he's saying that he wants anything like real like he wants a future with you like and that he's gonna treat you like this queen bee he's gonna put you on this pedestal make sure that he's telling the truth okay he or she make sure that they're telling you the truth make sure that they really are divine that's what i'm getting make sure the person you're dealing with is truly divine and they really have changed and you really are different from the rest i do feel that they think that you're different because we have groom this signifies long-term commitment this signifies you know living together owning property together being married this could this is marriage okay this is a long-term commitment so that's their current intentions and this is like within the next six months so i mean they seem to be pretty serious let's see if they're telling the truth okay that's what i'm trying to say now you can be patient with that let's see how you're feeling about this person then we're gonna see how they're feeling about you if you like this don't forget to press like it really helps me when you do that so let's see who is this person and how are you feeling about them oh wow we got the magician and we got the hair font honestly you almost feel like this person this person is marriage material you also feel like this person is a smooth talker. Like, man, they just know what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. That it's like, oh my goodness. It's almost unbelievable, this person, the way that they convince you, okay, to do things. And you definitely feel like this person... If they have children, that they're like a good parent, okay? How is he feeling? Nine of Cups. You feel like this person is your wish fulfillment. You feel like this this person is someone you could see yourself settling down with, but you might be afraid that this person, especially if they were married before, you might be afraid that this person doesn't want to commit or that this person likes their single life. Okay, so let's see. How else are you feeling about this person? Let's get one more, and I can't wait to see how they're feeling about you. Okay, yeah, the sun reverse. I feel like this person may have let you down in some ways, or this person may have some immature ways. Gemini, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo energy coming through really strong. Let's see how this person is feeling about you you know what i'm gonna use another deck for yours just to see if we have any mirroring cards that want to come through for clarity i'm feeling like some of you could be dealing with a taurus that energy is coming through really strong a scorpio is coming through really strong How's this person feeling about you? This person lays in bed, in bed at night, thinking about you, wondering about you, pondering about you. They actually feel like you could be a really good match for them, especially if you're already in a relationship. If you're already together, maybe you had some issues, whatever. They feel like you guys are on the same page if you are already in a connection with them. If you guys are not in a connection with this person, this person feels like they want to see more of your personality. They want to see more of you come out. They want to, you know, maybe, maybe you gave up on them in a sense. Maybe you're like being a little bit distant with them. Let's see how is this person feeling. 
They could even be feeling mentally ill about you. Yeah, if there was any type of beef, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy coming through. If there was any beef or anything that happened like between you guys, this person's like feeling horrible about it. Um, they feel like you put their ass in line. Okay, like no one else has. There you go, coming up as the emperor, okay? They definitely feel like they need to have some sort of status or they need to behave some type of way. They need to be strong to be with you. Um... <laughs> oh, they could also feel like you're, you are, they need to, they want to take care of you. So, like, if you feel like, oh, I got this, I don't need help, I don't need that. That's not the type of vibe. They kind of like when you ask them for help or ask them for things. How are they feeling about you? Six of Pentacles. They feel like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They feel like they're doing so much. Like, they feel like what they do for you, like, sometimes, like, it's not enough, you know? And it's like they're trying so hard. For some of you, they could feel like there is a really nice balance of yin and yang, masculine and feminine energy. And they might actually kind of like the way that you argue with them, like the way you go back and forth. It's like you're, you're, you're kind of right in a, in a sense. Let's get one more. How are they feeling about you? Wow. Oh, my goodness. What is going on with the Seven of Swords? Oh... They feel like you're hiding something from them. Um, they definitely do. You could be... They, I don't know. Some For some of you, they might feel like you're hiding something about your finances or... Um, make sure that this person isn't trying to get away with something over here. So, this is interesting. Let's get into their thoughts. Let's get into their thoughts about you. Maybe something about this hiding will come through. This is what they're consciously aware of. Maybe you guys discuss this or this will be something that will come up in the near future. So let's see. What are their thoughts? That's too many cards. Way too many cards. Um, sometimes I wonder if you care. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, sometimes I wonder if you even care. Maybe you give this person a cold shoulder. I miss you, do you? Maybe you don't respond to their text messages. Maybe you don't call as much. Maybe there's just been some dis distance between you. Maybe this is a long distance connection or... Maybe this is kind of new and maybe this person just needs more of your attention. They need to know that you care and maybe that's why the Seven of Swords is coming up. Yeah, for how they're feeling about you. They're just kind of feeling like, are you, they just want to know. Yeah. Oh, if I follow you, I could lose everything. So maybe there's some sort of decision that has to be made. Um, hopefully this person like isn't putting you in some sort of third party situation this could also be related to work as well if i follow you i could lose everything i'm just saying that with this seven of swords here this person could be feeling like you might want them to do something they might not be able to do right now oh okay two more you are my everything and then we have wrongful advice. So I guess this person just wants to be careful who they give information to because I think this represents the Hierophant. So maybe they married the wrong person in the past or maybe their past relationship was not so good. And it's like now they've met you. Maybe they want to take things slow, but you know they are just vetting you thoroughly to make sure that you're on the level to be with them because I feel like this person they might have done something you know to mess things up between the two of you but I feel that that has to do with some some sort of like relationship pattern or 
even an ex-spouse situation, okay? Or ex-person. Anyway, let's get some advice from the Romance Angels. romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so yeah i mean go for it give this person another chance if you feel guided to they seem like they're a lot of fun and it could lead to something really serious in the future so why not explore your feelings with this person because they do think that you are my everything so that that car came up they do think that, you know, they have these strong feelings for you. And you're different from the rest. Don't forget that. So, yeah, this person, I'm kind of feeling this. They want you to be their queen bee. I mean, they just might lie here and there, but I don't know. <laughs> Somebody lying up in here. Oh, my God. I cannot deal with this. <gasps> Deception and lies. What? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, there might be something that this person needs to close up from their past. Okay? That is what I'm getting. I am so done. This is why I shuffle on camera because we have deception and lies twice. That is not okay. <laughs> Your spirit guides ancestors and angels are not playing with this person that's all i can say anyone who comes in your in your aura and your energy they are being thoroughly vetted by the spirit realm okay because you are meant to be with the love of your life you are meant to be with like the magician and the hair fonts you know this is you and your partner you and your partner this is what you're meant to have this heaven on earth type of relationship and connection so anyone in your life that's coming in with these like deception and lies okay the manipulator okay um just be careful and trust and do what's led okay that's all I have for today, my sweet Sagittarius. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, namaste, peace and love.